Hi everyone, Happy New Year. Now that 2021 is behind us, I have a local real estate market update to share with you. The housing supply in Loudoun County continues to be tight. There were just 267 listings in the county at the end of November, 145 fewer listings than a year ago. That represents a 35% decrease in inventory. Conversely, 633 homes sold during November 2021, which is only a decrease of 5.4% from prior year, and actually an increase compared to the prior four years when units sold during November were an average of 500. That means that homes are selling very quickly. Average days on the market is crazy low right now, and it's still a seller's market. Supply is low and demand is high which leads to higher home prices. The average price of detached homes sold during November was $817,000, up 13.4% from prior year. And the average price of townhomes and condos sold was $500,000, up 11% from the past year. These higher prices are a direct result of the imbalance in supply and demand we saw in 2021. So if you're thinking about selling, now is a great time to put your home on the market. Historically, every year, starting in the March or April timeframe, we see an uptick of inventory on the market. So if you can beat other people putting your home on the market, you'll have an advantage over other sellers. As you know, I live along the Route 15 North Corridor in Leesburg, and I work with a lot of buyers and sellers in this area of the county. The first neighborhood I want to review is Exeter with over 800 homes on the north side of Leesburg. With a community swimming pool, clubhouse, multiple tennis and basketball courts and playgrounds, this neighborhood is all within the corporate town limits. For many years, my kids swam on the summer league swim team, the Exeter Eagles, and I actually coached here and continued to volunteer during the summers for the swim team. In 2021, Exeter had 29 detached homes sell with an average sales price of $624,000, an increase of 11% from prior year. A total of 74 townhomes sold in Exeter in 2021 at a sales price of $346,000, an increase of 15% from prior year. The most expensive detached homes sold in Exeter closed at a price of $835,000 in November. It was on the market for five days before going under contract at 104% of list price. On the other side of the map is Village Green, a beautiful neighborhood hidden away in the rural Catoctin district, but also with its own community pool, clubhouse, tennis, basketball courts, and beautiful open spaces. I love that it's close to so many wineries and breweries in this part of Loudoun County and that it's only five minutes away from the CNO Canal at the Point of Rocks, Maryland. Village Green saw 29 detached homes sell in all of 2021 with an average sales price of $683,000, an increase of 12% from prior year. The most expensive home sold in Village Green in 2021 was 43133 Butterfly Way, which closed at $785,000 in December. The next neighborhood I'd like to highlight along this corridor is Selma Estates with 283 homes. This neighborhood was named after historic Selma Mansion, which was built in 1741. This community backs directly to the Catoctin Mountain Ridgeline and features beautiful walking trails, scenic vistas, and a community pool. In 2021, 14 homes closed in Selma at an average sales price of $945,000, an increase of 17% from prior year. The most expensive home closed in Selma during 2021 was 16016 Garland Drive, which closed at $1,250,000 in July. Just south of Selma and adjoined by a walking path is Raspberry Falls with 201 homes. Raspberry Falls Golf Course is one of the few public golf courses remaining in Loudoun County. Amenities of this neighborhood include an outdoor swimming pool and tennis courts, both of which have been remodeled in the past two years. In 2021, 17 homes sold in Raspberry Falls at an average sales price of $1,129,000, an increase of 18% from prior year. 
The most expensive home sold in Raspberry during 2021 was 16302 Hunter Place, which closed at $1,525,000 in October at 102% of list price. If you have questions about local real estate, please give me a call. I'd love to work with you. Thanks so much.